Hello, this is Lance Cleveland, author of the Store Locator Plus plugin for WordPress. I'm going to go over how to increase the number of locations you can have geocoded per 24 hour period, as well as how many map page loads you can have per 24 hour period. By default, Google only allows 2,500 locations to be geocoded, that is per server or IP address, which means that is shared on a shared host. So you may get far less than 2,500 locations geocoded per import or per, per update. Uh, also, your map page views will also be limited to 25,000 a day. So if your map stops loading or loads slowly, that may be because you're running into that limit. So to add it in Store Locator Plus, go to the General Server tab, look for the Developers Console, and paste your API server key here. I'll show you how to obtain that in a minute. And then Save Changes. And that will allow your future imports of locations as well as your page loads of the map to surpass that Google quota once you have enabled bill, uh, page go billing at Google on the developer console. So I'll show you how to do that in a moment. This top part, Google Business License, is for Google Business at Work clients. That is a much higher level service from Google. It uh, runs tens of thousands of dollars a year. So if you're not spending that with Google, you will leave these blank. Uh, conversely, if you are a Google Business for Work client, you want to enter your client ID and private key and leave the API server key blank. So now to get the key uh, from Google, you'll go to console.developers.google.com. You'll start a new project. So I will create a new project here called test SLP project. That will create my new project. Should appear here shortly. Okay, there we go. So now I'm in my test project. And what you want for Store Locator Plus is to enable a couple of APIs. You're gonna go under Google Maps APIs, look for the geocoding API. You're gonna enable that one. And then you're going to enable the JavaScript API. Those are the two that are used today. There may be others added in the future, uh, but for now, those are the two that you need. So once you have that set up, you need to get your server key credentials. Just go under credentials, under APIs and auths, add credentials, API key, server key. I'm gonna leave the default name. That's just a label for you to track it. You can also filter by IP address. I leave it empty so I can get this from any location. And this API key is the key you need for Store Locator Plus. So I just copied that. If you ever need to get it in the future, come back to API and auth credentials and it shows it over here as well. And you want to go back to Store Locator Plus to your settings. And you're going to paste that key in to the server key box. Make sure you don't have any extra spaces at the end or anything like that. It can cause problems. If it's incorrect, you will get error messages, especially on the front end when your map loads. So save that. You'll also get error messages if you don't have the right APIs enabled. Um, so now, to get the billing part of it, you come into your APIs, you're going to go to your enabled APIs, and you're going to go to the JavaScript API and look at quotas. And here, I've already enabled billing, so my interface is a little bit different. I have billing enabled for my testing projects. But here under billing status, it will say to enable higher quotas, enable billing, and there'll be a hyperlink to enable billing and that will allow you to fill in your credit card information and address to bill your account. And once you do that, it'll take 10 to minutes to a half an hour. When you come back here after that uh, time to process your card, make sure it's a valid payment, uh, and the payment has been set up, you will be able to see that you have an increased quota. And you can see the free quota here, and you should see the total quota increased. So now I can load up to a million map views per day. Uh, to get anything above that, you have to apply for a higher quota, tell Google why you need it, and they'll decide whether you need the tens of thousands of dollars a year license or whether they'll let you continue with per month credit card billing. So that is how you enable the higher quotas on Google. And just by keeping that API key intact, you'll get the higher quotas. If you have billing problems, the API key still works. It's just you will bump into limits and have uh, issues with geocoding more than 2,500 locations or more than 25,000 map views per day. So that's it. That's what you need to do on the Google side. A few extra steps on their end. 
on the store locator plus end, you just want to go and get a server key, get that text string, and you want to paste it under general server, Google API server key in this section and save it. And then you'll get your higher limits. That's all you need to do to get uh, store locator plus talking to Google and bypassing their uh, free restrictions. So hopefully that will get uh, users that are loading more than 2,500 locations up and running and get all your locations geocoded quickly. Thank you for supporting store locator plus.